The sun shift our attention to what is unfolding in Pakistan, where in a major development, the incumbent Pakistani Prime Minister has said that he'll be stepping down next month. He made the announcement in a televised address to the nation. Shahbaz Sharif said that the incumbent government will hand over the reins to the caretaker set up in August. Now, the current government's tenure ends on the 13th of August. I was given the responsibility of being the Prime Minister to serve you and for the welfare of the country. The secret trust vested in me will be passed on to the caretaker government in August 2023. By God's grace, in merely 15 months, we were able to clear out the debris of four years of devastation. Sharif, however, did not clear the confusion about whether there would be a normal dissolution of the National Assembly on completion of its term or he would advise the President for an early dissolution. The Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif led the ruling coalition and it came to power following the ouster of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan through a no-confidence vote in April last year. Sharif also praised his government's tenure and assured that they would continue to work for the development of the nation a day earlier and the IMF had approved a bailout program of about $3 billion just days after reaching a staff-level agreement with the country. Now, constitutionally in Pakistan, the outgoing Prime Minister cannot be the interim or the caretaker Prime Minister. The nomination of an interim Prime Minister would largely be decided by the incumbent government and its coalition partners. While there have been speculations on the names of the caretaker Prime Minister, the name of Mohsin Beg or Najim Sethi or Gohar Ejaz are doing the rounds. It was earlier speculated in Islamabad that elections would not be held until March 2024. Now, according to Article 224 of the Pakistan Constitution, a general election to the National Assembly or a Provincial Assembly shall be held within a period of about 60 days after the term of the Assembly is due to expire, unless the Assembly has been dissolved earlier. In case of early dissolution, the Election Commission of Pakistan is bound to hold the general elections within a period of about 90 days after the dissolution. And according to Article 224.2, this means that Pakistan will head for a general election in October this year. And Vyond's Anas Malik has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has stated that he will be stepping down next month ahead of the completion of the electoral term of the incumbent assembly and after which he will be paving way for an interim or a caretaker setup to come in leading to the elections. Remember, this is an election year in Pakistan and the electoral, the electoral government's term is to be completed on the 13th of August. That means that on the 12th of August would be the last day, working day for Shahbaz Sharif as the Prime Minister. Now, elections are slated to be held in October, but they can potentially be held in, uh, in November as well. Uh, the Constitution says as, that in case if the electoral limit or elect electoral term is completed, then elections are to be held in 60 days time. If not, even if it's a day before the electoral days, uh, uh, electoral limits completion, uh, and if the assemblies are dissolved even a day before that, then the constitution gives 90 days. So elections will be held in Pakistan sometime in October or in November, and consultations with regards to who will come in and take over the interim setup, who will be the interim prime ministers, are currently underway. Anas Malik in Islamabad, Pakistan, for Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.